Hello my friends and welcome back to a new video as I promised in the other uh, videos with the Hyundai Kona electric uh, I promised a test drive and today is the day when we'll make the test drive with the new Hyundai Kona um, 64 kilowatt battery this is the biggest battery that we have on the Kona also it has 204 horsepower and it also have the new blue link system installed on the car and if you don't know what is the blue link uh, i will talk a little bit about the blue link at the beginning of, of the video and then we will make the test drive also if you are for the first time on my channel please subscribe to my channel check out my other videos and also um yeah enjoy it So a few information about the car before we start driving guys if you are in Switzerland or around Switzerland uh, you can come at parisiautomobile.ch um, and you can check them out they have a lot of cars right here in Grafinger a lot of new cars and also a great price and service uh, going forward we have the Hyundai Kona EV Blue Link Edition 64 kilowatt the price uh, of this car will be 46,950 francs uh, it's a great great price for um, for how many options have this car inside and also guys we have five years warranty eight years um, uh, without any kilometers and we have eight years warranty uh, for the battery and also for the motor electric motor or 160,000 kilometers so it's pretty good 204 horsepower newton meter 395 and all the options uh, of the car are here a lot of options um, and as i show you before the blue link guys the blue link options are right here on the car and uh, we have this uh, possibility um, to connect the car to your mobile phone and through the mobile phone you can see all kind of information for example where the car is the gps the location of the car you can start the heating of the car you can preheat the car or uh, start the climatic system the cold air inside the car also through the blue link guys you can see the the vehicle diagnostic uh, for example to see if the car have any air errors or something like that and also um, all kind of uh, cool feature lock unlock the car um, alarm it will it will tell you on your mobile phone if the car have uh, uh, an intruder a thief or something like that so it's pretty cool the blue link it's something that uh, tesla already have on it and now hyundai come on these electric cars with the same same story also you can see the battery how how much is charged the battery can schedule the charging station and all that stuff so it's a pretty pretty cool uh, feature to have it on the car these days and um, hyundai come with this blue link uh, application on the phone that bring all that cool feature um, in in your car so um, guys now that you you already know what is blue link as i promised in other video i want to talk a little bit about it now we will drive we will make a test drive with this uh, beautiful hyundai uh, kona electric and then uh, i hope you will enjoy it you can see here it come also with lane assist blind spot technology a lot of cool technology inside the car you can check out my other videos with full review of this car also the gear shifter it's amazing you can see parking reverse drive neutral uh, electric handbrake parking also the keys right here if you're wondering how the key is looking like and we have um, heated seat ventilated seat in the same in, in in the same price also we have the driving mode we will see when we drive also heating steering wheel auto hold 
parking sensors and reverse camera two cup holders here usb ports you can charge your phone wireless there here is the climatic system beautiful uh, layout the seats are also amazing uh, they have a great great quality guys i have to tell you uh, you can check them out and also you can check out on my channel on my other on my other videos where i make a full uh, review in deep review with this new hyundai kona and there uh, you can see all that information so uh, let's do it soft material here uh, by the way i just want to tell you soft material and also big big screen 10 inch display screen uh, that look really good also you just have to press the brake and um, the car is starting and then you can see all kind of information also we have a head-up display the car have head-up display there and um, yeah also here the new screen from um, Hyundai Kona also you can see it on Ionic Hyundai Ionic if you didn't see the review check it out on my channel guys it will be there and here we have a nice nice navigation system really beautiful and great great view from uh from the driver's side so anyway guys let's drive it also down here we have a space where you can put your stuff uh, as well guys let's do the drive test and then uh we will talk at the end i hope you will enjoy this video um and i hope uh, i will enjoy as well uh the car and then i will tell you the difference between this uh, Kona and also Ionic and also um, Tesla Model 3 because I think Hyundai is the main competitor for um, Tesla. This is my opinion. I think Hyundai make fantastic cars these days and they grow so so much and in 2020 um, the car come with so many options so much quality and um, I'm quite impressed. So let's do it. Let's do the test drive and then we will talk at the end. All right, guys, here we are inside the car. Put the seat belt, electric seats, adjustable, pretty awesome. Uh, we adjust the seats really nice. The driver seat and also the passenger seat have. Uh, electric adjustable seats also manual adjustable steering wheel from here so you can adjust uh, the way you want it and also simple close it up start stop button is just right here press the brake put the the um, finger and press the start engine and then the car it's starting right now the home screen it's looking like that you can see how much battery you still have and also how many kilometer range you still have on the electric version um, also here you can see um, the speed limit on this street so the car have a uh, camera right here up that can read uh, the speed limit and all that stuff also you can see it on the head-up display and also if you go to navigation guys and just let me choose a destination for example let me put the destination right here also on the map you can see the charging stations uh, it's pretty awesome to have all that information to see where you can charge your car it's super simple for example let's start guidance starting route guidance and also guys this screen right here it has an amazing resolution i like the glossy screen i like how easy it is and the lag it doesn't have any lag at all so hyundai begin to be a premium car like mercedes bmw and also um audi they make fantastic uh screen so the new um, the new multimedia system the new navigation it's much much better than what was before so as i said before let me let me try again let me try again for example let's go here yes start guidance look how fast how fast it's loading you see how many minutes how many minutes you make until there and all that information about the navigation and stuff like that it's pretty awesome also um yeah this is great let's drive it also you can see it there on the head-up display i think you can see it i'm not sure i hope you can see it 
it has a nice nice resolution and even the head-up display the colors look super nice and super clear all you have to do now guys because i love this wireless uh shifter you just go in drive press the drive button and now you can drive the car and it's so silent you can hear it so nice so silent really really cool um i like also the tall position the position of driving it's a little bit taller so you feel up also the suspension are good until now from what i feel also we can change from here the driving mode you have much more driving modes now leave the roundabout for example right now we are in sport mode i don't know if you can see it on the head up display right there so let me change right here the settings for a, for a while and right now we are in the sport mode and you can change it from here from driving mode you can go in eco mode and you can see even the head-up display is changing it's 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 kind of a green right now and you can see it there the green buttons and the acceleration it's more smoother and slower and uh, I like also the, the graphic designs the way they do it it's pretty cool also you can you can regenerate the battery from here you have these pedals left and right and you can choose level zero right now level one two three so you have free regenerative braking levels so it's super cool when you when you left the foot on the acceleration you can go to zero and the car right now it's it's rolling but when you go to one it's regenerate when you go to two the regeneration is bigger and when you go to to free it's it's even bigger then you go in the normal mode right now we are in the comfort mode and also the steering wheel it's more comfortable and nicer and then you have also the sport mode when you accelerate for example right now you can immediately feel that punch and that speed in but in the same time it's so silent and it feels so nice also the steering wheel right now in the sport mode it is a little bit more and now regenerate in free and right now i didn't use the brake i don't use the brake right now the car is braking itself and it's just use one pedal driving so it's, it's quite quite now cool. leave the roundabout. to be honest it's, the, next the feeling it's super super good oh, okay pretty awesome really really awesome let me close the navigation i don't know where it should be around here if i'm not wrong anyway right now we're in sport mode and you can see acceleration it's it's, it's pretty punchy you don't feel like in a tesla but it's still punchy it's still more punchy than in a normal uh internal combustion engine so it's quite cool also the car come with this uh, great um uh how would say the, um, the, 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 the 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 cruise control and i want to set it up for you guys for a moment here and i want to show you how the car can keep the distance from the front car so you can you can set here uh, the cruise control and the car can drive itself right now it's set i just set it up you can see there in the front at 48 kilometer and also you can choose the distance between you and the car in front the way you want it so it's pretty pretty nice and to have all that uh, feature on the car also you have the lane assist right here if you activate it uh, the car can keep the lane and, and stay in lanes um, this is also pretty pretty impressive now we can can accelerate a little bit I want to show you again the acceleration and 100 it's pretty awesome 
I like it. I like the way it feels. I also like the tall position, guys. The driving position, it's taller, so you feel like in, a, in an SUV. Uh, and I like that. I like this position. I like this tall position. I like the seats are so comfortable. You don't have any, any uh, pain in the back. You can adjust the seats electrically the way you want it. Also, the head-up display is perfect. It gives me all the information that I need. They are right there in front of me. It is very simple to see all that information right there in front. In 200 um, meters, I really, really like it. Second exit. To be honest, I like them very much. And also the navigation is super simple and super clean. Uh, and also, second exit. I like how how uh, the handlings are also in this car. It feel you can see when you now leave the roundabout. The radius of the car and the handling here in the roundabout it is amazing. Maybe now because the, the battery is down and it is a little bit heavier. Uh, it stays so good on the road, so so good. We are in the sport mode. Let's change the driving mode right now in the eco mode. The steering wheel it's a little bit softer and uh, easier to use and the acceleration right now. Let's accelerate. Acceleration it's also a little bit more slowly. It's a bit slowly, it's accelerate slowly and when you go right now in a comfort mode the, the steering wheel is much more softer and um, it feel like it's m much lighter this is the word I feel like the car it's lighter to use it in the city in meters, so if you drive if you drive in the city I really recommend you um, comfort so you should drive in comfort mode in the city uh, here is stop guidance. So now I close the navigation. It didn't bother me anymore uh, And then when you go right here, for example in the city, you just You can set the speed uh, to the city for example to 54 kilometers and then the car uh, will keep this uh, will keep this speed so it's it's quite quite uh, nice and also the bumps want to feel a little bit the bumps the bumps feel pretty good I like the way they feel a little guys the car it's it's amazing one thing I think the noise from outside it's a little bit bigger but but other than that the car doing a great job I love this the, the suspension I love the way uh, they feel the suspension. I love the visibility. I love the steering wheel. It's so easy to steer. Let me go here for a second. And I wanna show you also the car from the exterior. Maybe you didn't see it. Also, we have the blind spot technology right there in the mirrors. Great visibility on the windows. Even in the back, I have a big, big wind uh, mirror here up. And then in the back, I see super easy also glasses support here and i like how silent is the car guys also when you go in the reverse from here you can see you have a big big camera right there look at this camera how big it is how nice it is it is super super big and so easy to to drive it you just go in drive and look how easy it is to drive this car go in the reverse and then just park it up in a few seconds you can park the car press the park button and the electric brake it's automatic activated i want to go out show you a little bit around the car and then we will drive forward uh, super good quality the steering wheel and also these are the pedals for regenerative braking um yeah what can i say the consumption it's also pretty good uh, we have just four kilometer taking, but we make around six, seven. So I know uh, Hyundai did a great job with the consumption, with aerodynamic. And 
uh, I think after Tesla, Hyundai is the best uh, for electric cars manufacturer. Also, the car come with LED lights and all that cool feature on it. Also, guys, check out on my channel down. Uh, I have a full review interior, exterior. I show you the space in the car. I show you all the details, the rims right here. And also, you can see them uh, in my other video. We have 17 inch rims, those um aero rims also i like the car have this plastic protection around down here uh it's pretty awesome to protect it from stones and stuff also if you want to see the full review check out on my other channel i don't want to uh, lose so much time with all this info uh let's go back and um, end up this video guys it's so simple just press the brake press drive and then drive it it's so silent i don't know i don't know what person cannot love this car this car it is super super uh lovable if i can say that um it's quite quite uh good you can feel even the bumps here we have some bumps even here let's go a little bit off-road yeah the car feels good it's feel good it's feel comfortable you feel like you are inside a premium car and this is the word and let me go in sport mode right now and make zero to 100 we are zero and look oh -ho. Ooh -hoo. and 100 nice Great job Hyundai, I like it, really impressive, really really impressive. And now regenerate, 2, level 2, level 1, 0, I like that, I want that on my car. And now level 3, and I don't, I don't use the brakes anymore, and then level 0, and then accelerate. I just i can play with those clappers and i can break from the from the pedals here so i i, I wish i have this on my on my uh, tesla model 3 but uh no complaining and also i like right now we are in zero level zero and the car is just rolling and i love this rolling i want this rolling on my on my car as well really it's so cool and right now you don't regenerate any energy and the car is just rolling and in this time you save battery life you save uh, energy and uh, while you regenerate the energy then it lost a lot of heat and then in this time um, the, the efficiency of the car is not so good so while you're rolling right now i'm rolling yes i'm 50 rolling rolling i push a little bit acceleration slowly i push it slowly and in this time you can you can gain a lot a lot of range and uh, you can save a lot of battery when you're doing that so um this car it's super efficient uh and as i said hyundai did a great job uh, I love the visibility, it's, it's so good the visibility on the windows, it's so easy to drive this car. It's the perfect electric SUV, city SUV, it's just, it's just perfect, I like very much the car, I like the, the comfort on the seats, they are big, you have plenty of space uh, inside and it's pretty impressive, um, really like the car. You can hear how how the the motors sound when you are stopping or accelerating pretty impressive um, yeah guys I guess that was the that was the test drive with the new Hyundai Iconic EV I hope you enjoy it um please subscribe to my channel check out my other videos guys um also if you want to buy this car 
uh, you are around Switzerland, go on um, Gerafinger at parisiaautomobile.ch there they have the car, you can test drive, you can buy it, they have great service and price. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the test drive guys, the car it's really impressive and um, it doesn't feel like a Tesla but after Tesla I think they do a great great job and the price and the, all that options and quality that they have inside the car it deserved the money so um, that was my test drive review with the new Hyundai Kona 64 kilowatt also I hope you understand uh, how the blue link is working and um, yeah what can I say uh, don't forget to subscribe please subscribe to my channel it means a lot for me um, also check out my other videos like it share it with your friends and thank you again to all of you guys that are watching and see you soon in the next one bye guys